don't know if you'll see this, but I'm about to do an injection for a gum bleed. I don't know if you can see any blood, but it's there. Very important kitchen roll. Sterile, completely, never been used before. First thing I do, my little routine, is record what I'm giving myself. My treatment sheet. Don't use even track. Not quite yet, but I will. Basically, I put the date, I put what I'm treating for, which in this case is my gums and my ankle. And the batch number which is on there and I'm having two bottles which is 2,000 units which is a normal dose for me so I've got the treatment I've mixed it up earlier because I like to give it half an hour also to mix I have cotton wool little cotton wool balls my butterfly 23G, very important. I like that one. And it's blue. Tourniquet, also blue, coincidentally. This is weird, everything's blue. Maybe I should invent pink stuff. Uh, swab. What else? Syringe. 30ml syringe. So, that is everything. This is a trial run, by the way. I'm going to do this again on World Haemophilia Day. But I might not. Depends how I am. So, there's 15 mils of liquid in here, so I put 15 mils of air into my syringe, turn that upside down, squirt the air in, and then it automatically pulls out because there's a vacuum in the bottle. So I get everything out, take that off, and generally recycle the bottles, put another 15ml in for the second one, shove that in there. Again it's best if you do this upside down otherwise you'll just be sucking out air. That is two. Then see if I can get any bits of air out of the syringe. There's not much in there to be honest. So that is now 30 mils of heme P ready to go. Um, so there's my veins. I have good elbow veins. That one I use all the time, which is actually my left. Yeah, that's right. And that's my right, which I used the other day and completely failed to get in the vein. So I've had to stab about like my arm was a pincushion. So that's a bit bruised. So I'm going to use my normal one. I don't know if you'll hear any of this because I don't know if the mic works well, but there we go, we will have a go. Okay, this is my uh, needle, a bit like a slinky, can't do much about that. So I give it a pull to try and make sure it doesn't ping anywhere, and then fasten that to the syringe. Now what I don't do, and some people do, it's a matter of... Uh, individual preference. Some people inject the factor down to the end of the syringe before they start. I don't do that. I will show you what I do do. So I'll stick tourniquet on. Give it a yank because you want the vein to be as pumped up and easy to access as possible. That's my cotton wool. I've just got that ready for later. So the next thing is to clean the vein, make sure it's all nice and sterile. Give that a good clean. 
Apologies if you're watching this and your technique is completely different and you're shouting at the screen saying, what the hell are you doing? This is just my way. I've been doing it since I was 14. Pretty much like this ever since then. So, right. Let's see if you can... You're not going to be able to see this very well. Right, hang on. Of course you want to see the needle going in a moment. You? Right, that's all beautiful. Shop that in. You can see immediately there's blood there, which means I've got it in a vein. I take that back into the syringe, which now means there's no air in there at all. All the air's risen to the top. So I can undo that, which is very easy, and then I just plunge that in. And that, as they say, is that. Again, people inject these things at different speeds. I generally inject it as quick as I can, because I don't want to be hanging around doing this all day. And generally, I believe it doesn't really make a big difference. And I don't have, haven't had many reactions to doing it too quickly. I have had allergic reactions, but that was different. So basically what I'm trying to do is get every little bit of liquid in there. It doesn't matter if the blood goes back in, that doesn't matter, it's all very useful. So I'll just keep going and watch basically where the air bubble is. I don't know if you can see that but that's where the first big air bubble is. It won't do me any harm if that were to go in. It would have to be a lot of air to do me any harm, but I'd rather stop when that gets to there. So that's what I will aim to do. Whoop. And then I just hold it with that hand so that nothing's going in, nothing's coming out. Put the cotton ball on, pull the needle out, press the cotton ball, and at the same time, pull the plunger back slightly so no blood goes anywhere. It's a theory anyway. So. That's seven minutes. Doesn't include drawing it up in the first place and mixing the bottles together, but I do tend to do that in advance, as I said. Um, All together, probably about 10 minutes, and it's done. And I, at the moment, I'm doing this every other day because I've had problems with my ankle. That's it. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this remotely interesting. Bye.